Hello everyone. So today's tutorial is going to be about connecting your MagicQ software to L8 Visualizer on the same PC. Okay, why well, I'm talking PC because L8 works only in PC and if you want to use it on the same computer then uh, you can easily download MagicQ software from the Campsys website. It's free software, you can download it and start outputting up to 64 universes with Artnet or streaming ACN into L8. And in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to do the basic stuff. So if you already started working with L8, in my case I'm using L8CE and uh, yeah so I created a quick rig and I patched in 20 uh, Chauvet Maverick MK2 spots. So if you already looked around, so basically if you want to the DMX window, I patched in 20 of them and they are Chauvet Maverick MK2 spots, 32 channel each. So then as soon as I can patch them in and I throw them on my rig, I could select them, select all of them, basically just uh, select all. Uh, 20 pieces and after that I would press DMX input button that would bring me that window I will select let's say in my case I'll select line 1 and I press universe I will select here artnet and I'll press universe 0 so artnet start, can start with the universe 0 streaming ACN starts with the universe 1 so you basically set up as 0 after that you press apply that applies everything uh, in L8, then you press save, exit and press save. Now this has been saved and we can now go into the MagicQ part of our tutorial. So if you, all, if you ever worked with the MagicQ before, you already know how to patch the same lights uh, using the patch menu. And if you already done it and you just want to send the data to start working with this, this actually, uh, to my surprise, this actually works without using any uh, loopback adapters. So you don't need to create it. Basically, what you have to do is you just have to press setup, go to the in the view settings, go to the network window. In the network window, there's a there's a button here called the menu called Send to application on this PC. This only works uh, on Macs and PCs. Double click, and you choose the option yes. If you're not sure what they do everything is here written, press yes. And as soon as you've done it, you can see the signal is going through to L8. So now what you have to do is just select your lights. For example, you can press add effects, intensity and apply dimmer chase. And you can easily see how your effect has been applied onto your fixtures. For example, we can click quickly create direction center out and use the encoder C to create, to reduce the width of the effect. And we're going to create really nice and easy effect on Magic Q. And if you want to save your playback, just press record and click here. Press like eight, uh, clear, raise your fader, and you can see L8 is nicely playing out our effect. So this is the fastest way. I mean, if you already know how to patch it, you don't need to look any further. I mean, apart from maybe uh, another setting, if that will for some reason not work or if you're using the older version of the MagicQ. So I'm, I'm right now using the latest version, latest alpha, but it should be working the same on the latest beta. You can always go to the setup, view DMX uh, IO, input output, and choose that on the line one where I patched my spots. I set the status as enabled, artnet, uh, output type artnet, so you chose an artnet, and universe zero, okay? And then in a visualizer, you can always select it, press here, so at the moment it says magic quiz, you can click here on this part of the window and use artnet streaming ACN on the same PC. Again, you don't need to uh, you don't need to run loopback adapter if you're running as, as I do now uh, Windows 10 on this PC and the latest MagicQ all works perfectly fine without bothering yourself with the loopback adapters. Okay, so if you have never worked with the MagicQ before, if you would like to see how I patch those slides, I will show it to you in a few moments. Okay, so to start a new show file on the MagicQ, you will press Setup. Uh, in the view settings window, you press new show and yes, and start in a normal live mode. So now your, your show file is empty. You go to the patch window and here you press the button called choose hat because we need to choose moving hat. 
So click here and we, we need to look for the hat here. So instead of you trying to search through the manufacturer first and then the library, uh, the Magic Q Order has at the, right now has more than 33,000 hats already in the library. So if you want to search quickly, you can always use the search function. And in a whole name, you can double click here and type in the name of the menu, uh, of the moving hat. So for example, you use Sharpie, you just type Sharpie. If you're using, in my case, Maverick, you type M-A-V, so it stands for Maverick, M-K-2, it's M-K-2, and I press return, and I press search it. So it found me the manufacturer's a Chauvet. I click here, Maverick M-K-2 spot, and I'm using the mode 32 channels. Then if you want to patch it, you just press patch it, and you type in the quantity, I have 20 of them. So you can press 20 and enter and it's gonna patch it onto the first universe of the first uh, uh, first address. Or if you wanna put specifically certain universe, then you can type 20 at, see here it says enter number and then at, press at, universe one dash one and press enter. That patched me 20 of them, I press yes. So it set it up and you can see straight away all the data is going through. And now I can go press close, press clear, select my lights. I can press locate and you will be able to see the lights are there. For example, then you can go to the add effects, position, circle effect. You can see a nice circle effect running and you can quickly create direction center out. So you can see nice fully synchronized look. You can increase the size of the effect and store it, press record store it here, press clear. So now you can easily raise your fader and you will be able to see your nice looking effect running on your magic queue in few, just few seconds. Okay, that's it for today. And again, don't forget the magic queue uh, software you can download from the campus website. It's free to download and you can output uh, pretty much all the functionality that uh, the magic you can send out, whether it's being pixel mapping or just a normal programming, you can um, you can use the magic queue for your charge and output using the streaming ACN or Artnet protocols. Uh, if you want to use any phys physical DMXs, you can either use your Artnet to DMX converter or buy the hardware from our website. Thank you very much. That's all for today. Have a lovely evening. Bye bye.